Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the steps for the order of operations and math problems. Now, you may have heard this before, but it's a very important part of math because it really helps you uh, simplify and solve the various uh, math problems that you'll solve in your careers. So let's get right to it. Now, you may have heard of please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which is a nice way to remember the order of operations, but let's put them to good use. You have the initials P-E-M-D-A-S. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, let's talk about what those actually stand for. Now, they do talk about the order for which the math should be executed. Now, the P stands for parentheses, and parentheses is the interior parentheses that you want to work off of. The parentheses always go first. You gotta simplify them before you do anything else. Next up, you have exponents. The exponents is the second in order. After you take care of the parentheses, you gotta simplify any particular exponent expressions that you have. Now, M stands for multiplication, and D stands for division. Now, it's easy to think that multiplication comes before division, but it honestly depends on what it is. The key here is you have to think about reading it from left to right. Now, as you're reading from left to right, if the multiplication comes before division, then yes, you do the multiplication first. But sometimes division is on the left and multiplication is on the right. If that's the case, you gotta do the division first and then multiplication second. Some people think because of this order that multiplication comes before division, that doesn't happen all the time, unfortunately. Same thing with A and S. A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. Now again, same kind of thing. You have to, these two go together just as these two go together. Now, FYI, multiplication slash division do go before addition slash subtraction. But you do the same thing. You think about left to right. Because once in a while, the subtraction would be on the left and addition would be on the right. So if that's the case, you gotta do subtraction first, addition second. But if the addition is on the left, subtraction is on the right, you do addition before subtraction. So these two, these two are definitely the first two, but these two operations and these two operations work in pairs. So it's really important that you, in, this, in these cases, you read left to right to figure out which of these two in each pair go first. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and these are the steps to the order of operations in math.